Hello everyone, it led the news exactly a week ago and this time it leads the news again, this time for a different reason. Everything is going to be okay for a man and woman who thought they saw their dream wedding go up in flames last weekend in a fire that destroyed a popular historical building. They say the impossible happened. Here's News 13's Katie Kim. If we have to go to the Justice of the Peace, yeah. it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll go elope to Hawaii. Yeah. This was the young couple last Sunday as they watched their wedding venue burst into flames. Fast forward one week. One door closes, another door opens. Now, a much happier bride and groom. Tyler and Brianna got engaged in February and were planning their dream wedding at the Rancho de Corrales Event Center for months. They were just two weeks from their big day. When flames shot through the building, Fire officials still don't know what caused the blaze. Tyler and Brianna were one of many couples with no place to say I do. I was a little uh, hysterical. With what appeared to be their wedding dreams now up in flames, the couple was still determined to keep their original date. So it was a mad dash to plan a new wedding in under two weeks. But it was possible with the help of some strangers. They're just really making our dream wedding a reality. The Tano and Country Club heard of the couple's dilemma and stepped in in a big way. They're helping us out with decorations, with um, just setting up everything. They've um, just really taken care of everything for us. The couple did get their deposit back from Rancho de Corrales, but they say replanning cost them an additional two grand. But local businesses have donated many things, from chairs to draperies. They're just really making it happen. It's not the way the young couple imagined starting their lives together, but they say it's taught them a lesson in for better or for worse. Just another thing to, for our, our relationship to build off of. In Corrales, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. That building was built back in 1801. Officials at the Rancho de Corrales Center say they are unsure when or if the building will reopen. Refunds have been given to anyone who had events planned there.